Welcome to our presentation on the Balance Scorecard, a powerful tool for translating strategy into action. In today's fast-paced business environment, it's more important than ever to have a clear understanding of your organization's goals and how you plan to achieve them. That's where the Balance Scorecard comes in. By providing a comprehensive framework for measuring and monitoring performance across four key perspectives, it enables organizations to align their activities with their strategic objectives and stay on track towards success. The Balanced Scorecard is a strategic management tool that helps organizations measure and monitor their performance across multiple perspectives. It was first introduced by Robert Kaplan and David Norton in the early 1990s, and has since become a widely used framework for translating strategy into action. At its core, the Balanced Scorecard is designed to provide a more comprehensive view of an organization's performance than traditional financial measures alone. By incorporating non-financial indicators such as customer satisfaction, internal processes, and learning and growth, the Balanced Scorecard enables organizations to better align their activities with their strategic goals and objectives. The Balanced Scorecard is a framework that measures an organization's performance from four different perspectives, financial, customer, internal processes, and learning and growth. Each perspective provides a unique insight into the organization's overall success. The financial perspective looks at traditional financial metrics such as revenue, profit, and return on investment. The customer perspective focuses on customer satisfaction, loyalty, and retention. The internal processes perspective examines the efficiency and effectiveness of the organization's operations. Finally, the learning and growth perspective considers the organization's ability to innovate, learn, and develop its people and culture. Developing a balanced scorecard involves several key steps that must be carefully planned and executed. The first step is to identify the strategic objectives of the organization, which should be aligned with its overall mission and vision. These objectives should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart. Once the strategic objectives have been identified, the next step is to determine the performance measures that will be used to track progress towards these objectives. These measures should be based on both financial and non-financial indicators, and should be linked to the four perspectives of the balanced scorecard, financial, customer, internal processes, and learning and growth. After determining the performance measures, the next step is to set targets for each measure, which should be challenging yet achievable. These targets should be based on historical performance, industry benchmarks, and best practices. Finally, once the performance measures and targets have been established, the last step is to develop initiatives that will help the organization achieve its strategic objectives. These initiatives should be aligned with the performance measures and targets, and should be designed to address any gaps or weaknesses in the organization's current processes and systems. Implementing a balanced scorecard can be a challenging process, but the benefits are well worth the effort. One of the biggest challenges is getting buy-in from all levels of the organization. It's important to involve everyone in the process and communicate the benefits of the balanced scorecard. Another challenge is selecting the right performance measures. The measures should be aligned with the organization's strategic objectives and provide a clear picture of performance. Despite these challenges, implementing a balanced scorecard has many benefits. It helps organizations focus on their strategic objectives and provides a framework for measuring and monitoring performance. It also encourages collaboration and communication across departments and helps align individual goals with the organization's overall strategy. To ensure successful implementation, it's important to start small and gradually expand the balanced scorecard over time. In conclusion, the balanced scorecard is a powerful tool for translating strategy into action. By measuring and monitoring performance across four perspectives, financial, customer, internal processes, and learning and growth, organizations can ensure they are on track to achieve their strategic objectives. Implementing a balanced scorecard can be challenging, but the benefits are significant. It provides a clear framework for aligning activities with strategy, improving communication and collaboration, and driving continuous improvement. We encourage you to take action and implement the balanced scorecard in your own organization to achieve greater success. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one.